Miss Miklos here with tonight's exciting, exciting lecture on synthetic division. And um, we are going to learn that synthetic division is a good shortcut that we can use for long division. And when we can use this as a shortcut is when the leading coefficient of the linear divisor is 1. I forgot the word linear, so I just wrote it up there. Um, and so what that means is whatever I'm dividing by needs to be linear, which means I can only have a degree of 1, and our leading coefficient has to be 1. So in this case, this fits what we're looking for. When we set up synthetic division, it is very similar to how we set up synthetic substitution. So I'm looking at what I'm dividing, and I am first going to fill in any missing terms with zeros. I also need to make sure that it is in descending order. So in this case, it is, so my coefficients are 1, 2, negative 6, and negative 9. So what we are going to go ahead and do to figure out our box value, okay, this time I don't have x equals a number. I have something like x plus 3. So off to the side here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we're going to set whatever we're dividing by equal to 0. And when I solve for x, x is equal to negative 3. So that is what I'm going to put into the box. Okay, and what we notice is that it really is the opposite of whatever the constant is. And this is why it works. It's because it is, when I actually solve for x, it's negative 3. But we can just remember to always take the opposite of this value. Now, our method is identical to what we did last week in our lecture, where I start by bringing down our first number. Now I'm going to multiply 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. When I add, I get negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. When I add, I get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. When I add, I get 0. And that makes me happy. And you will learn in our later lectures why that makes us very happy. Um, at this point, though, we're not quite sure what to actually put in as our answer. Um, so what we're going to learn today is that this is actually representing a polynomial. So this polynomial is going to be one degree lower than our original polynomial. So since we started with x cubed, my first term here is going to be 1x squared minus 1x minus 3 three, and this last value would be our remainder. In this case, it would be zero. So I'm always starting one degree lower than what our original problem was. So number two, let's go ahead and set up. We know we can use synthetic division because my divisor is linear and it has a leading coefficient of one. So when I set this up, we have one, two, negative 6, negative 9. Once again, I was not missing any terms. Our box number this time is going to be 2 because when I set x minus 2 equal to 0, our x value would be 2. We also notice this is just the opposite of that number. So now let's get started. When I bring down 1, 1 times 2 is 2. When I add, I get 4. 4 times 2 is 8. When I add, I get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. When I add, I get negative 5. We always start 1 degree lower, so since our original problem was x cubed, this is going to be 1x squared plus 4x plus 2, remainder negative 5. I vastly prefer this method to our long division because I think it saves a lot of time. Moving right along here to number 3. I'm setting this up, and as I start to write out my coefficients, I realize that we are missing something here, so I'm going to have to fill in a zero for that x squared. So it is really important that I'm always filling in zeros when necessary. My box value here is going to be negative two, because that is the opposite of this value, and let's get going. When I bring down two, two times negative two is negative four, 
When I add, I get negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. When I add, I get negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. When I add, I get 5. We're starting 1 degree lower, so I get 2x squared minus 4x minus 1, remainder 5. And just so you guys know, it really doesn't get more difficult than this when we're using synthetic division. We just need to make sure that I'm taking my time doing all this math. And um, what we're going to do next, we're actually going to step it up a level, and I'm going to show you a little preview of what we're doing with synthetic division when we get back from break. This problem is actually telling us what one zero of this function is. Okay, so it says 1, 0 is x equals 2. We need to find the others. And the way that we're going to do this, okay, notice that this is a cubic equation. So I'm thinking that we should have probably three zeros. So I'm going to set this up and say 1, negative 2, negative 9, and 18. Now, they're telling us that 2 is a 0, so I'm putting that in the box. And what that is telling me is that I should end up getting 0 as my remainder here. Or in this case, we're going to think of that as our y value. This is our input. This is our output. And let's see if that actually happens here. So I'm going to start with bringing down the 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so I get 0. 0 times 2 is 0. When I add, I get negative 9. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. So I do indeed get 0 as my remainder. Now, this group of numbers doesn't help me find the other zeros. But what we just learned is that I can write this as a polynomial. So I know it's going to be 1 degree lower than this polynomial. So it's going to become x squared plus 0x minus 9. And if I want to find the other zeros, I have to set it equal to 0. Now, we may remember that we can actually factor this to x plus 3, x minus 3. And I'm going to set these equal to 0. So I get x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 3. So that would be my answer because those are the two other zeros to this function. Now, just kind of a heads up, what we're eventually going to learn how to do is to solve like this, but we are not going to be given any of these zeros. We need to come up with those on our own. So hopefully this is just a nice little preview of, as to how we can use synthetic division, synthetic substitution, that entire concept in a bigger way to help us find zeros of a function.